Hello, Jason, Deputy Sheriff's Office, Marine Unit. Uh, your boat, that little 22-foot Catalina, pulled anchor. It started drifting northbound in this heavy wind today. Luckily, it missed the uh, marina, a little fishing pier there. And uh, caught anchor appears to be in a little shallow ground just north of the restaurant. So you might want to come out here and try to relocate that thing again so uh, it doesn't get on its side in the low tide. All right? Thank you very much. Don't rely on this video alone for understanding everywhere you can anchor in Florida. Do your own research and know the rules for your local municipality. Almost all coastal areas in Florida that are near civilization have sailboats in the water that you can see from the shore. It's basically like a free parking spot, or is it? Before we bought our sailboat, we did a little research to see if we could just keep it out on the inner coastal, and what I found was pretty surprising. We'd always seen boats sitting out there while we were out power boating, but I never really looked into it to see what was okay and what wasn't. When we brought our sailboat back to this little area outside our marina, we promptly got a ticket for almost $100 because one of the lights wasn't working at night, and I just put it there and was going to fix the light the next weekend. Once a boat leaves its mooring and breaks free in a storm, it can sink, it can get up on shore, and just becomes a derelict vessel. I captured these sequences from a webcam at our local restaurant during a high wind event where a sailboat is drifting down the intercoastal and then later someone's boat goes to pick it up and tow it back to its mooring location. It seems like every few months there's a sailboat stuck somewhere new, a different boat that broke free of its mooring, and in this case we're out kayaking and we saw this nice big sailboat stuck in the sand. It was there a few months before it was removed. This boat wasn't in the way of any boat traffic, but boats like this can become hazards to the waterways. Just a few weeks ago I was over in Riverview, Florida, and I spotted this local boat launch that had all kinds of derelict boats on their side, sinking or sunk. It was just a complete mess. According to the Florida Wildlife Commission, Florida's plagued with many abandoned vessels. They become derelict vessels and then subject the boating public to safety issues or become locations for illegal activity, housing, and opportunities for theft and vandalism. And then it costs a lot of money by taxpayers to have to remove these boats. So Florida came up with an anchoring and mooring pilot program. This program would explore potential options for regulating the anchoring and mooring of vessels other than liveaboard outside mark boundaries of public mooring fields. It said local governments face legitimate needs to resolve issues with improperly stored, abandoned, and derelict boats, and homeowners who don't like the anchored vessels in proximity to their nice residences right on the water. The program would develop and test policies that would promote and establish the use of public mooring fields, promote access to waters of the state, enhance navigational safety, protect maritime infrastructure, marine environment, and deter improperly stored, abandoned, or derelict vessels. Basically, Florida identified the issues as locations where anchored vessels accumulate, unattended vessels, dragging vessels not showing proper lighting, um, not maintained or become derelict, and then interpretation of the state laws and confusion from the boating community about where they can leave their boats. So in this program, they started a monthly monitoring of vessels. The three categories were one that's anchored or moored while not in use, that can be used frequently for day trips or extended voyages, but it's left at anchor, and that's what we do. Or one that's a stationary liveaboard vessel that's a primary residence, which a lot of people do that don't have homes. And or a vessel categories as a transient cruiser, like someone's coming down from another state and they're on a trip, maybe they're going around the world, and they just want to stop off for a week and visit. Different municipalities had different takes on this, but St. Petersburg, Florida said a hazardous vessel is unable to navigate, displays excessive marine growth, has its interior exposed to the weather, is taking on water, leaking contaminants, uh, in danger of breaking loose. So they're just looking for boats that don't look like they're being used on a regular basis. It comes down to the fact that they don't want the boat to be a navigational hazard for other boats or a derelict vessel. 
Basically, if the boat looks like it's not being used or maintained, they'll get with the owner of the boat and let them know to fix it up or make it operable. Monroe County ordinances included definitions, anchoring zones, exemptions from proof of pump outs, that's your waste that you need to pump out, no anchoring buffer zones and enforcements and penalties. And again, it comes down to the indication of a derelict vessels where that prohibits anchoring or mooring in state waters when there's a risk of becoming a derelict vessel. Um, it has to have a rigging system, a steering system, sails that are in working order, but we don't always see this, but I think that was the intention of this program. The program allowed authorities to identify derelict vessels. So if they're not going to be used for navigation, they're listing, they're aground, they're in danger of breaking, they're sinking or dragging anchor. So if it's going to be a public health or safety issue. In Sarasota, Florida, they'll allow a vessel to anchor for 90 days in the same location. And if in that 90 days it's navigated to another site for at least 72 hours, it can even come back to its original anchoring location. And it goes on to say that it requires anchored vessels get underway at least once every three months or move to a mooring field. I'll put the link to this boat US information down below, but they're saying, can a local government restrict me from anchoring? And under Florida law, boaters who use their boats for navigation, even if only occasionally, can't be restricted from anchoring by a local jurisdiction. This document goes on to say nothing in this section will be construed to prohibit local government authorities from the enactment or enforcement of regulations which prohibit or restrict the mooring of anchoring or floating structures and liveaboard vessels within their jurisdictions and says government authorities are prohibited from regulating the anchoring outside of such mooring fields except for liveaboard vessels. In this Florida statute about public nuisances, this document goes on to talk about derelict vessels that are wrecked or abandoned um, at a port without the consent of an agency, docked, grounded, or beached without the owner of the property, gross negligence, so it's disregard or interference to safety, willful misconduct, and it goes on to say that authorities could remove the vessel. The costs from the agency that removes the vessel can be against the owner and that they won't give you a registration again until you pay it or if a contractor removes it they can charge the owner and if it's on private property after something like 60 or 90 days of notification they can remove it and charge the owner so basically you don't want to have your boat anywhere grounded or stuck for a long time and not do anything about it if you're sailing to florida and plan to anchor here Call the nearest marina where you'll want to anchor and check with them to find out if they have a mooring field that you have to pay for or if they know where it's safe to anchor. You can generally tell common anchoring locations just by looking at the Google Maps satellite view, but there are cruising guides that will go into more detail. One thing is for sure, I think, and that's that the waterway shouldn't be a place to store your non-working, junky, or unused boat. If you have useful information that could help, add it to the comments below.